this is a review of the Aldi uh, catalogue number 56422 induction cooktop dated early 2017. We'll just get some water and uh, put about a litre of water onto the cooktop and heat the water up, time how long it takes to uh, heat up and just examine the controls while it's heating and also have a look at the different power consumption uh, in real time. All right, good look at the cooktop there. Look at the front of the cooktop. The cooktop is temporarily installed. It's just sitting on top of the uh, bench top. The wiring is not uh, finished yet, of course. It's just temporarily hooked up and plugged into a power meter so that we can measure the true power in RMS. It's a Belkin power meter. And in standby, the cooktop draws 0.5 watts. The cooktop has a very basic control system uh, with four different hot plates and you have to select uh, which hot plate you want and then adjust the power level for that particular hot plate. I'll time the water for three minutes and just see how we go. I'm, I'm thinking that a litre of water should take around about three minutes. It is very cold water being winter time. Um, We'll just see how we go. There could even be a bit more than a litre in there, but uh, I'd say it's about a litre. I've currently got the uh, heat set at uh, number seven. Now, it's not very intuitive. It does not tell me um, how many watts that is. And uh, you can see there how to select the uh, power. I have to select the different uh, hot plates, so to say, that I want, and then use the up-down buttons. Straight away, it's starting to get the uh, heat bubbles in the bottom because the induction cooktop does heat um, the, the steel in the bottom of the pot. Uh, on number seven, we've got about 1.9 kilowatts being drawn by the cooktop. Oops, number nine, that was number nine. We've got about 1.9 kilowatts, so say two kilowatts. And if we select it again and we turn it down to 6 and then go and have a look at the uh, power meter again, we've got about 1.4 kilowatts on number 6. I would have been happier if it gave me a, a, a power display in watts uh, actually on the hot plate but I guess it's something that uh, one could get used to. Most hot plates on the market are set up this way. It's only the uh, smaller standalone systems that seem to give you the uh, power rating in watts. I'm not too happy with how you have to select the hot plate each time and then up and down. It seems very slow. I'd be much more impressed if it had a different uh, control independent from each other for each hot plate. The... Range top sucks in air through two large fans underneath and then it blows hot air back out the front. Looking inside through the uh, air output ventilation grills, I can see that it's fairly well built. There's a light underneath the Saran cooktop and showing the, uh, the color of it. It's actually a red color. Water still getting close to boiling there. So it's taking more than three minutes on, uh, I think I went down to number six or number seven. This is the um, Aldi Baffle range hood with touch controls. Also bought, uh, oh, this was bought in late 2016. There you can see the baffles underneath. Very easy to clean, all stainless steel. They go straight in the dishwasher. Has LED lights. Uh, quite a large fan inside the unit. And uh, even on setting number one, uh, it takes a lot of cooking fumes away. It'll take steam, oil, the whole lot. Uh, I've never used setting number three. I've only had to use settings one and two so far. All right, water boiling nicely now. A little bit fiddly with the controls I found with this cooktop. If you were uh, stressing over something that was boiling over on the stove, I think that you'd be better off just to hit the power control and uh, turn the power off to the whole thing. I'm much more familiar with having standalone uh, induction cooktops where 
you've got ready power control on uh, each individual one and uh, you can quickly turn them on and off if you have an emergency. Um, this deal where you've got to select one plate and then uh, play with the uh, the actual uh, heat to the plate, it's um, a little bit slow and cumbersome. And there's no way to actually turn that one off immediately other than turn the whole uh, cooktop off. You have to actually select that uh, hot plate and then dial it back down to zero. Putting another pot onto the stove now and uh, turn it on. It starts at number five by default. And uh, then I've cranked it up to number six. Go back and look at the power again. Um, between the two hot plates, I've got about 2.4 kilowatts now. I've got four on the large one and I've got six on the small one. The large one, uh, when it goes below, any of the hot plates, when they go between uh, one and four, they actually have a thermostat on the top of the hot plate and they cycle on and off. From five up to nine, they do not cycle. They stay on continually and uh, can easily burn food and boil over. With all four hot plates, the uh, range top draws about seven kilowatts. Even with two burners on, both set to five, already drawing 2.4 kilowatts. Very, very easy. This thing would draw 4.8 kilowatts. Uh, the H indicates there that um, the hot plate uh, is too hot to touch. The sensor where it indicates that the glass is more than about 40 degrees C uh, will flash with an H. Um, given time, the smaller one would also start flashing with an H. There's no brand name on the cooktop. It has a three-year warranty and um, it has the child lock on the controls. It's not bad for what you get, but like I've said before, the... Um, Actual controls, a little bit difficult to use if you're in a hurry.